Good morning, I'm David Pollack with Science Through the Eyes of a Child, and I want you to know that STEC is science. So today I'm going to give you a little lesson on cucumbers, and I want to show you the similarities and differences. And a lot of people don't realize that melons and cucumbers and squash, and the really cool thing is, is even loofahs are all, member, are all members of an interesting family of plants called cucurbitaceae. And uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut these things open for you and we're gonna examine the similarities and the differences. So first of all, let's look at their external morphologies here. They're all kind of cylindrical plants. If we look at them from this direction, they're round and they're different colors. There's our differences. And some of them are longer than others. So let's go ahead and get inside of these things. This is a honeydew melon, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. And the good thing about this project is when you're teaching your kids is you get to eat it after, when you're finished. I want you to look at the inside of this and you'll see that there's a, there's a skin and there's the flesh and then the seeds. Let's take a look at the cantaloupe now. Look at this. Similarities. Okay. Very similar. They have an exterior skin and interior flesh. And a similar type of setup for the seeds. And if you do some research, I think it'd be interesting if you look into it, you might, let's look at the different chambers here. We have one, two, three, four, five chambers. Let's see if it's the same here. This, this tissue here is important. Now, I'm not a botanist. I just want you to, to kind of uh, acclimate yourself to these types of um, opportunities to teach your children. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So I think there's something there with respect to this uh, pentamerism, right? And in nature, there's several different types of uh, symmetry, right? So symmetry would be another great lesson for you to go through with your kids. Let's give this cucumber a cut, okay? Now look, here's this more similarities. Although we have our differences with respect to the shape of the fruit, uh, we have some similarities on the inside. We have this exterior skin that protects all the internal parts and we have this little seed area and the flesh area. And if we look, let's see if we have, I think that would be considered one, two, three, four, five maybe. That might be a way to look at our one, two, three, four, I don't know, let's maybe we can get a better shot here of a different piece of it. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I could be wrong, there may be six, there may be some uh, symmetry uh, with relative to, uh, uh, I guess that would be um, a hexasymmetrical. And then last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to uh, cut open this butternut squash. And let me go ahead and cut it this way. This is a nice, there we go, look at that. And when you're teaching your kids, not only are you using your, your vision, but you can have your children smell these, you know? They all have a distinctive odor, and then when you're teaching kids about different odors, you can go into some organic chemistry and you can talk to them about esters. And you might be familiar with esters with respect to a polyester. And poly means many and an ester is an organic uh, unit. So when you take many esters and put them together, you get a polyester. But individually, individually what you're smelling is, is, a, is a monomer. So there's like one ester. 
So I think that uh, another similarity would be interesting to point out is, is that if you look at the different, if you take seeds from each one of these, you can show your children that their seeds are similar as well. Well, I hope that I hope that helps you all and uh, enjoy teaching your children. Have a great day.